I will guarantee you this. All of a sudden, it's going to be clear. It's going to start getting clearer to you exactly what you need to do, who you are, why you're here. And if you're, and if you're a hard worker, if you're grateful every day, you're going to know what to do. You're going to know when to do it and you're going to do it well. And you're going to be well on your path and your purpose. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot. I just got a job last month, which I'm grateful for. Now I can pay my rent, my bills, and I have money that I can live off of. But sometimes I find it hard to meet up at work every single day. So much that some days I have to call in sick so that I can have a day off, which I'm not proud of. But I do what's required of me at work, plus more at times. I do my job. It's not fulfilling for me and not one that I want to do for a long time. I know jobs are not supposed to be all fun and joy, but I still struggle and I don't have a big why right now. I think it would be easier if I had something to look forward to. Maybe a lack, I lack deeper meaning with my life and a purpose. I'm happy that in general, but I'm happy in general, but I try to be grateful and thankful of what I have and where I am. The only reason why I'm working there is so I can have money to live off of and keep my apartment. I don't want to move back and live with my parents. What's your take on that? Well, the very first thing I would do is acknowledge you on your gratitude for your ability to work so that you can live on your own. Look, there's a means to an end, right? A lot of times we have to ignore the means and focus on the end. And the end is that this job gets you to pay your rent, pay your bills, and get away from mommy and daddy. That is huge. It's, it's, that job that you have is perfect because it's fulfilling its function. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's doing its job, and you're doing your job, and you're getting the result that you want. So I know that you're grateful for that. Now, where I hear you struggling, where you're having a little bit of a problem, as a 24-year-old man is, you're not satisfied with this job because it lacks deeper meaning and purpose for you in your life. And that's important. That's good. That's going to come. I want you to be aware that where you are in your life right now is in a chop wood, carry water season. And that means that you just do what you have to do every single day. Be grateful for it. Give it your all. Stop calling in sick. Be a man, man up, do your job. And be open, remain open, because over the course of the next few years, things are going to unfold for you in the most miraculous ways that you can't even imagine today. But it's not going to happen if you're in a state of resistance. You have to stay in that state of, of gratitude, and you have to also keep doing the best that you can. Don't get resentful. Don't get lazy. Don't, don't fumble this ball. You're being tested. That's one of the things you got to recognize, too. 24 year old man, you're just starting out. You literally are on the on the starting blocks of a new season, a new 12 year season in your life. While you're standing in that starting block, you have no idea what the race is going to look like. You don't know what kind of obstacles, you don't know what kind of surprises, what kind of gifts, what kind of path it's going to take. All that is a mystery to you right now. You're literally blind to the path that's in front of you. But if you just get up every day and put one foot in front of the other, every day you do what you have to do, whether you feel like it or not, no judgment at all, guarantee, bro, I will guarantee you this. All of a sudden, it's going to be clear. It's going to start getting clearer to you exactly what you need to do, who you are, why you're here. And if you're, and if you're a hard worker, if you're grateful every day, you're going to know what to do. You're going to know when to do it and you're going to do it well and you're going to be well on your path and your purpose. When I was 24 years old, let me tell you, let me tell you a little story. Let me tell you how this worked out for me during my 24 to 36 year old cycle, 12 year cycles. I truly believe in these cycles. You go from age zero to 12, right? And what happens at 12? Crisis. Adolescence. 12 to 24, there's a crisis. Early adulthood. 24 to 36, crisis, middle adulthood, and so on and so forth. There's going to be a crisis every 24 years, and you're in a crisis right now. Let me explain to you what old Uncle E's crisis looked like at age 24. At age 24, I was, 
I just got married, just had my first baby. I was living in my father-in-law's basement and it wasn't a beautiful situation. It was nice that I had a roof over my head, but my parents had just left. My parents were like the rock. They were like the foundation. They were stable. They were a stable place for me, my siblings, and my wife because she practically grew up with me. They picked up and left. My dad had enough in New York. He's like, I'm going to Florida. I'm 24 years old, living in a stinky basement in freezing cold New York with a, with a baby, my wife, and guess what? I remember that I got so sick. I got really sick. I was 20, I was, I was depressed and I guess my immune system was suppressed and I had like these boogers in my freaking face. I, I had so much mucus and snot in my nasal cavities that I, I thought I was having a teeth problem and I thought I needed a root canal, but it was because I was so clogged up in my face that it was pressing on the joints or pressing on the nerves in my, in my teeth, right? And I didn't know what I was going to do. I had just lost my job, right? I had, I had a job as a personal trainer, but the, pro, but the program that they had signed me up for was, they ended that program. Just lost my job. I don't have my parents. I don't know what the hell to do with myself in my life. Totally confused. And so I picked up and I moved to Florida. I had no idea what was going to happen. I had no idea if I was going to get a job. I had no, I was fl fl flying blind. Flying blind. I had a sense for what I wanted in my life, what I wanted to provide for my family. I had a sense for where I wanted to go, but I had no idea how I was going to get there. I had no idea what the next step was going to look like. Not only that, but I was in like $100,000 worth of debt, credit card. It only got worse as it went on. The reason why I tell you this is because between age 24, 25, 26, 27, all of a sudden a light went off. And there's a pattern there. Usually around 27, usually around 27, you all of a sudden, a spark goes off and there's an awakening in you and you realize, oh, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm here for. And momentum starts to carry. Momentum starts to carry around age 27. Mark my word, fellas. It's not the same way for everybody, but there's some elements of it. From age 24 to 27, you don't know what you're doing. All you can do is be grateful. Appreciate what you have be uh, true to yourself, be honest about things, don't stress out, don't try to project, don't try to create too many goals for yourself that you're too attached to. Allow yourself to be, allow yourself to be. Because by age 27, guess what happened to old Uncle E? I flipped my first tire. I lifted my first stone. I was introduced to Strongman, and you know what that did? It made me YouTube famous, it made me a champion in the sport. It made me focus for my business. It made me a man that my wife looks up to and my children admire. It was the, th it was the spark that happened in my life at age 27. I'm not gonna explain the cosmic clock to you guys. I'm not gonna go into that right now. Maybe another day I will, I've been saying this for years, but I'll create something about it. But uh, the bottom line is that when you're in that, you're in that blind state, you're blind between 24 and 27, you're kind of in a blind state. You can't beat yourself up too much. Do not beat yourself up, bro. Allow yourself to be um, and be grateful for what you have. Get up and do your job. Be okay with not knowing your purpose. Be okay with not knowing your mission. Be okay with not knowing exactly where you're going and what you're doing, but be receptive, be open for when it comes to you because it will. I guarantee it will. You just got to be patient right now, boy. I tell you, these, these, the first three years after you reach the 12 o'clock mark on the clock, right? Age 12 to 12, 13, 14, 15. There are seeds being planted that are going to come full circle. You don't even, what is the thing about a seed? A seed is not the tree. A seed is not the fruit. A seed is this little weird thing that you're like, what the fuck is this? And you throw it in the dirt, right? I don't know what this is. What is this thing? You throw it in the dirt. That's what happens between age 12 and 16. You know what happened for me between age 12, 13, 14, 15, right? I met my wife. I met the barbell. I met football. I met training, all the things that bear fruit in my life to this day, I discovered in that three-year phase. From age 24 to 27, I started my business, I started my family, I started strongman training, I started YouTube. I didn't plan any of that. Those were all seeds that were being dropped into the soil of my life that came full circle. Right now, I went from 36, 37, 
36, 37, 38, right? 36, 37, and 38. All of a sudden, I became, I, what, the seed that was planted in my life was the word father, fatherhood. And it wasn't just with my old children because they were growing up. It, it, it gave me my purpose my mission for this next phase through what I do with you guys. That's why I'm so dedicated to what I do because I realize that most of us don't have strong fathers and in a way I'm kind of a father figure to millions of men worldwide and I take that job seriously but I had no clue what I was gonna do when I was 36. I was confused. Seeds were being planted, seeds are being planted and seeds are being planted in your life right now. The final thing I would say for you to do is just pay attention. Pay attention to what themes are showing up right now, that's very important. Pay attention to the themes. It might be good for you to keep a journal. Write down the themes of the things that are happening in your life right now. And that way, when you look back three years from now, you'll be like, oh, snap. Now I see why I had that job. I thought that job sucked, but what that job did was it set me up for where I'm going right now. Or at that job, you might meet that person that is, is going to be that seed bearer for you for the next phase, right? Like, you have no idea who's going to, who you're going to meet during this phase of your life that's going to revolutionize your way. And when I went to that, I went to a CrossFit seminar in Sarasota that was for a strongman. I knew nothing about CrossFit. I knew nothing about strongman. I just saw this picture of this guy uh, flipping this tire, and I was like, I want to go do that. Change my life. Change my life forever. I didn't know that was going to change my life. I didn't know what was going to happen there. Just like you don't know what's going to happen at your job. You don't know what's going to happen. You just got to be aware. You got to be grateful. You got to be present. You got to be engaged. And you'll be all right. So that's it, man. 24. 24 is tough. It's a tough year. It's a tough, it's a tough time of life. But it can be good if you're not needy, if you're not gr grabbing on, right? And there's no reason for you to grab on right now. In fact, anything that you try to grab onto right now is like grabbing the wind. Don't grab onto anything. Don't take anything too seriously right now. Just be an observer. Just observe. Just watch. Just watch. And it'll be amazing. It's an amazing show. All right, bro. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.